Thank, Thank you for joining us, guys. This is Sam Cornhill, Fraser Knox, joined by Elliot Simmons and Jamie Simmons, all the way from UAE. Today we're going to be doing a quick Q&A and a little Mr. and Mrs. afterwards, um, and some go walk, some stretching. Uh, so we'll go straight into it. Yeah, so Jamie, put us in our first position. <laughs> we can do this Right, well, you meant to have a wall for this one, but we'll do it without the wall. It's cool. Oh, you can do it here. Well, you can. Half lotus on the wall. James is going to show you how it's meant to work with your yeah. foot against the wall. So you're going to lie on your back. Yeah. You're going to put your foot, feet flat on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to cross one leg over the other. And you want to keep your lower back into the force and your hips straight. And then just push that knee out so you get stretched in the glute. Yeah. I'm going to do it without the wall, so I'm just going to lie back. Cross yeah. one leg over. Yeah. So how's preparations for road going, Jamie? Uh, it's good. It's good. It's getting pretty hot. So um, I've actually been training at night and sometimes getting up earlier to train or do some conditioning inside. Yeah. But other than that, that's been fun. It's good to have something to aim for. Yeah. And are you having to train, like, change your times and stuff to what time are you doing it in America? Yeah. So we only just started the last few nights to start training a little bit later go to bed later, just slowly easing into that, that 2 a.m. Um, training window. Is that what time you're starting yours at 2 a.m.? No, no, no. So we start, I think it'd be like four, like five or six-ish. Yeah. And then it could go all the way to like two or three. So it depends really? on my, um, where my heat is. Heat. <laughs> oh, wow. So that'd be fun. <laughs> judging work. What? How does judging work? Oh, that's Elliot's part. Chin size. Five, four, three, two. So I actually need to find a judge. I've got Elliot as my ops manager. Yeah. Um, and then he does all the stuff behind the camera and the scoring and all that. But I need a judge, yeah, that sits in with me. Um, yeah. And then it gets sent over to another judge in row. Um, and then they, they have the final say. Right. So no, it's really, uh, it's really advanced and it's cool. And I think from a streaming perspective, it's cool because um, one thing that no comp has mastered is coverage so you can see your favorite athletes. And in that respect, you'll be able to watch your favorite athlete um, either on YouTube or on the road page, which is really cool. But yeah, there's a lot that goes into it from even now all the introduction calls and all the app explanation calls and stuff and synchron synchronizing all of our devices to their servers and states and stuff. There's a lot going into it, but yeah, it's good. Um, so yeah, we've got like, I'm, I'm the ops manager, so I've got to coordinate everything, be the point of contact, manage the, the stream, and then keep an eye on the judge and manage the scoring and stuff as well. So it's going to be interesting. That's cool. And then what's the plans after Rogue in terms of heading over to Aromas? Right, come back, uh, I'll tell you Come back. Uh, <laughs> on to the front, hands forward, one foot forward, one foot back, and then just try and get your chest up right. If you need to put your knuckles down, then that's fine. We're doing two minutes on each side, apparently. Um, no. Yeah, so in terms of traveling to the States, uh, we've not booked anything yet because at the minute, flights from the UAE to America aren't um, available. Mm -hmm. But we're in contact with some friends who work at Etihad uh, about when those flights become available and basically getting out of here as soon as possible so we can do what's ever necessary of us per the, the US government guidelines or whatever. But at the minute, the UAE is not on one of the lists that needs a quarantine. So if flights did open up and we flew over at the minute, we wouldn't need to, uh, we wouldn't need to quarantine in America. We could just go and, and get to training. But we've not made any plans yet as to where we're going to go and who we're going to train with. But um, Luckily, we've got friends both on the east and the west coast, so we can, uh, we, we can out. work something out. Yeah. yeah. And, are you and we don't actually know like, the official dates or anything yet either, or when we need to check in or what the rules and stuff are. So we're just waiting on contact. Like at the minute, I've not officially qualified or been invited, um, yeah. but I have been told that uh, I'm a standby athlete. So everybody who has been invited is accepted. But then, for example, like say two or three people can't make it because of travel restrictions. I've let them know that I'll be there with Jamie anyway, so I'll compete if needed to last minute. That's awesome. 
And you excited to finally get to the ranch where it all began? Because you guys were there in 2016, but you didn't actually get to go to the ranch, did you? If I get to compete, mate, it will be honestly probably the best experience of my life being uh, a big CrossFit W. But, yeah. um, it's called a badger. But yeah, if, if I'm there and I don't get to compete, I'll be going. Jay, yeah, are you excited to go? Jay's not asked me. It's like training in the backyard, mate. That's the same as Raha Gardens. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe a bit cooler. Yeah. Oh, cheers, Ed. Oh. This is the most training you've done in like yeah. months. As you can the tell. The long one. Jamie and Elliot are the athletes here, and me and Sam are really struggling with these. <laughs> Gonna get sweat on. So, so what's your plan for 2021 then, after after this um, whole COVID has hopefully calmed down a bit and we can get the sanctioned events back going? Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, DFC's already been cancelled for this year, which sucks. Yeah. But so I got an email from Recky a bit yesterday saying that's going to be the end of January, so all being well, I'll get to compete in that because they're inviting the people who'd already qualified for this year's event. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. So hopefully... Might just be travel around close to here for the first wee while. Yeah. Maybe pick competitions around here and then yeah, we'll see. Nice. It's kinda of like don't plan anything at the moment. Yeah, true. Yeah. How is yeah, your get through the get through the open first and then see what happens? Yeah, Jesus. How has both of your training changed since isolation? You've got like a sick gym we've seen on your Instagrams. Um, yeah, it's a really good setup. To be fair, we've had like a lot more time to train just because we're not coaching. Yeah. Um so we can like focus on recovery a bit more, uh, but it's just it was really good at the start, and it's just got a little bit harder with the heat. But it's good because it teaches you to train like different times. And for me, and with road coming up, it's um it's helped a lot to like push my body clock back. But yeah, it's, everything's changed. Like stayed pretty similar. The only things that you can't do like I'm getting sick and not dropping a barbell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my back hates me. Um, and then just like obviously you don't do like GHDs and all this stuff like that, but everything else is fine. Yeah, yeah like for me, the only things I've not been able to do are bar and, and kip in ring muscle ups just because of the oh, yeah. the height of our uh, uh, of our kind of like cover over the garage over the the well, front bit, whatever you want to call it, uh, the driveway. So like I've not been able to do those movements, but everything else has been fine. Yeah, like Jay said, it's just the heat now. It was really good to start with, and it is still really good in terms of like recovering and, and, and being you know starting to actually get a lot stronger but now it's just getting really hot so we just have to adjust the time to do it the heat's actually it's okay it's just when you're like can't stop sweating and you can't even hold the bar <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise it's fine what is it there yeah come out of that it's, one yeah it's uh 44 degrees celsius at the minute with about 50 percent humidity we think it's hot in London, let alone out in London. I was going to say, so for all you poms who keep on, uh, who keep on, uh, well, I say poms, I'm a pom as well, but yeah. for the, you guys back at home who are posting about how hot it is, it's not hot. Stop moaning. <laughs> Fred's <laughs> on my dog now. Fred's just spent 60 quid on the fan when it was 23 degrees. <laughs> so worth it, eh? Yeah. He also spent eight pounds on a, a skin for his uh, Call of Duty character. <laughs> but all for a hoodie. For a, sick, for a hoodie. For a sick hoodie. <laughs> Do you think? No, wait, Frank, I did say, oh, who's that in the cool outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think um, training in the heat helps when you get over to California? Well, uh, over to the games. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, like that's what happened in sixteen as well. Um, but. There's just a point now where like you can't replicate the same volume or intensity because the heat's so much more intense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it does help to a certain extent, but you like you push less hard to get the same intensity because of the heat, if that makes sense. Rest there. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say how long are we holding that for? <laughs> I was shaking. Straight, straight. Pull one leg in and then just reach forward. Love it. I can't reach my toes. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's alright, reach your shins. Mate, I've not sweated this much in a while. <laughs> you should have seen it. It's a hot day in London. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, I must say, that is the only thing about the UK is like inside in the summer because obviously there's no um, 
AC, so it's hard to if you if you like live in the city and you've got no wind, that's horrible. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. How much time do you guys spend doing go what? Well this this um period I've actually started doing it a lot more like just using the recovery protocol. So whether it's using the Ferragon or whether it's just starting to foam roll a little bit more because my ex belief was just all about warm up and that cool down didn't necessarily matter so much. But yeah. now I've noticed that actually it is making quite a big difference in terms of recovery and soreness and how I'm feeling. So now I've got the extra time, especially I'm making sure I'm doing something productive with it. Yeah, uh, yeah I like doing it most, uh, most mornings. Have you always been quite flexible or is that something you've had to work on? Who, me or Al? Both of you. <laughs> uh, I'd be considered flexible for a crossfitter. <laughs> Not much else, I suppose. <laughs> You're quite flexible. Yeah, well, this is where my gripe with stretching yeah. came from originally because when I first started playing rugby, uh, sorry, first do, do doing crossfit, I was really tight from rugby. Yeah. And then obviously that was about the same time as like the supple leopard, um, Kelly, what's his name, Kelly Starrett, yeah. when he was like getting big. So I did all like the static stretching and that. And then I created like positions that didn't have enough tension in. Um, so I almost became too flexible for the strength that I had got through rugby. Right. So like then that's where like my ideologies changed a little bit with jousting in terms of like the more dynamic and movement based stuff but there's definitely a balance to be had like static stretching is not terrible but you can definitely over stretch yeah. yeah is it quite common to be much more flexible on one side than the other because i mean i can touch my toes on the right side but on my left i'm nowhere near it um right rest there come over onto your front yeah. doing a forearm stretch for three minutes apparently oh i don't know maybe maybe you. maybe you just use one side more than the other and that's why it's tighter yeah I mean, if you're referring to your like uh, right rotator cuff and wrist and, uh, and, and, and forearm, then maybe we know the answer there, Fraser. <laughs> but no, I mean, it is, it is common, yeah, because um, especially people who are less active, I suppose, because you are more likely to favor what side you like lean on or favor what side you sleep on. And then you create like a stronger side. And because obviously for us in our training, we do a lot of unilateral work as well. That helps to even up those imbalances. Yeah. Whereas for people just doing classes, if your gym doesn't program a lot of single leg stuff, whether it be lunges or pistols or step ups or stuff like that, like it's very easy to become dominant on one side and obviously that side that's that's doing more work is going to become tighter yeah um so that is normal because as well like without noticing it we all have like a an automatic posture that we kind of sit in with either one leg crossed over the other or whatever that in itself is, is a little bit of a stretch so if you, if you sit there with uh sorry about that if you sit there with one leg crossed over the other uh, every single day and it's always the same leg then that leg's obviously going to be a lot more flexible than the other. What did you both do before CrossFit then? Elliot, you mentioned rugby. Was that what you were doing before CrossFit? Yeah, so growing up squash was my sport. I oh, quit no. squash when I was like 13 or 14 and I, and I hadn't played rugby at all but all the, the lads were doing it and I was like, oh, I want to play rugby and like start being part of, you know, like the the boys or whatever so I started playing rugby and then rugby was my main sport up until I went to uni and then in my second year of university when I was about to like get into the first team I quit rugby because I just like the relationships I built with the boys um, changed a lot based on like the drinking culture involved in university rugby uh, and I just wasn't into that and then like when you when you're trying to play and train with lads and but you're not having that same kind of like um, relationship outside it's, it's hard so I kind of just stopped there and then found CrossFit yeah. there's a fun fact Jim. fun fact about Elliot uh, six months after starting CrossFit you qualify for regionals <laughs> yeah that's pretty true is that the same for Jamie as well uh, 
Well, I had a wee bit of a Achilles issue in between it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of a wrist break as well oh, between. Yeah. But... Yeah. But yeah, mine was <laughs> rugby as well, so. Jamie was probably better at rugby than I was. I probably <laughs> love the culture outside of rugby yeah, more. Like drinking culture as well. <laughs> <laughs> Lived for that. I think that's the only reason I keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, my girls are a bit different. Rest there and just shake your wrist out because that was actually pretty gnarly. Yeah, that was time. Not working like that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, armless prayer. Brooke Wells likes to say this is her favourite stretch, Frag on. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Brooke's watching, then don't look at me because I'll be doing it wrong. <laughs> So yeah, you're going to go knees out, feet together, sit back on your heels, reach out, and then what you're going to do is cross your child behind your head and push your armpits down. Oh yeah. Elliot, what are you uh, planning on doing with your hair at the moment? Because I mean, you've had more haircuts than David Beckham. I'm growing it, Fred, I'm growing it again. <laughs> What's been your favourite, like, haircut? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I like that. Uh, I, I always, like, growing up, always was three back inside, trim on the top. Yeah. Recently, it's been a, a high fade, so mm -hmm. I just decided when I'm young and I've still got the chance, I'll just grow it again for a little bit. Because the last time I grew it, I didn't actually get it, like, looked after. Yeah. Like, I didn't get it cut or anything. I just, you know, just left it. And I think it just got a bit messy or whatever, so that's why I cut it all off. Whereas this time, I plan on having somebody do something with it. Nice. What um what sanctuaries were you guys planning on going to before all the cancellations happened? What ones did we plan on? Yeah. Uh well there was a uh, Reykjavik with in Iceland with Elliot. He was going to do that, so I was going to go go along be coach. Yeah. Um, and Rogue and Rogue was the only other one I think. No, that was it. Oh yeah, so we had Rogue, which I was going to do. Um, and then we were going to head straight to Madrid the weekend after and do the Madrid, Madrid Championship but on a team yeah. with Anton Sats. Oh, no. So I'm gutted that one didn't come around because that would have been awesome. Do you think you'll go back to team after you've done individual? Don't know. If there's like a team that we wanted to compete with, obviously we'd love to compete with Anton Sats, but I don't know if they'd want to do anything else again. Um, I don't know, if, if like an opportunity comes up to do it and then you travel somewhere, it's good competition, then I'm always keen to do that. Press, but, uh, oh, but again, you don't really like, I wouldn't really plan ahead for it. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to quickly pop over as we finish these stretches over to Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Got some um, good ones. What are Mr. and Mrs.? So basically, I'll ask you questions. Um, the answer is either Elliot or yourself, Jamie. So if you raise, if during the stretch, you raise, you could just answer, yeah. I guess we just, we'll just answer while we're stretching. Um, so for example, the first one's, who's the tidiest? Mr. Elliot. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, you're gonna lie, what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the stretch, so you're gonna lie on one side? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, we're just gonna do it lying like this. <laughs> and you're just going to do a pec stretch, you're going to do one minute on each side, uh, 30, uh, 30 seconds on each side. Yeah, I'll continue. I'll do. Oh. And that was an easy one. <laughs> um, who's the funniest? Elliot. Yeah, probably Elliot. <laughs> oh, dude. Jay's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny looking. It's a pretty yeah. funny, Pringle. <laughs> Uh, who's the best cook? Elliot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't do anything in this line. Chain sides. <laughs> What's your favourite dish to cook, Elliot? Oh, mate, there's a repertoire. He does it a lot. <laughs> mate, this is why you're starting to see a correlation now of why Jamie's the better crossfitter. Because <laughs> I do fucking everything else. <laughs> I'm really good at making the beard. <laughs> you're the Sammy to the Matt Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Who takes uh, longest to get ready? Me. Yeah, Jamie. 
But it's not like, it's not bad. Not long. Oh, cat cow. Right, cat cows now. Oh, my face. What are these? Happy cat side cat. You call them in Wales, don't you? Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go, oh, but there's a sheep over there. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who wakes up the first? The first. The first. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you wake up, Elliot? I, I know you enjoy your sleep. Well, at the minute, we're obviously prepping for road, so we're trying to go to bed later every night and wake up later every day. But, um, it's not going so well. Yeah, <laughs> but normally it's like, I used to always set an alarm, and these days, since trying to take training a lot more seriously, I just wake up naturally when my body lets me, wants me to wake up, but that's normally a few hours before Jamie if she's not got an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie could snooze until like past 10. I can't stay in bed past eight o'clock really. I've ever. never met anyone. At the minute we are, but. Yeah, I've never met anyone who can fall asleep more quickly. Okay, agree. Really? Jamie Simmons. In cars, anyway. Who? You. Oh, I reckon Vicky <laughs> might beat me on that. Yeah. Maybe just. Who spends the most money? Oh, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I buy the groceries. <laughs> Do you buy a lot on Amazon? Fraser smashes Amazon. Oh yeah, but a bit more at the moment. <laughs> oh, rest there. But I don't buy that much. Well, next one is, who's most likely to start an argument? What, with each other or with anyone? Oh, with each other. <laughs> <laughs> because with, with, with anyone, me. Yeah. <laughs> but, with, yeah. But with each other, we don't really argue. Just be silly things like, it's just like you. bickering, yeah. Still you, I think. <laughs> yeah. I avoid well, arguments, like the Jamie, same arguments like the Jasper. Yeah, but you start arguments by like leaving floss on my side <laughs> of the sink and using my razor and stuff like that. Well, that comes into the next question. Who's, uh, who's the messiest? <laughs> who's what? The messiest. Messiest, Jamie. Jamie 100%. <laughs> Who eats the most? Me. Elliot. <laughs> How much do you eat in a day, calories-wise, do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure. It's meant to be like four to four and a half thousand, I think, is what Liam has it set at. But I like to graze as well. <laughs> <laughs> we have got to eat that. Yeah. Who handles their beer better? <laughs> who handles it better or who... Yeah. Like... Ah! <laughs> Are <laughs> you off your head? No, I, I don't know, Elliot. I mean, look, when I drink properly, yeah. I get a bit loose. Whereas <laughs> when Jamie drinks anything, she like throws up and goes to sleep. <laughs> Not always, often. But. So <laughs> it depends what you, it depends what your definition of handles is. <laughs> Not Fraser. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, I can tell you who's no, the I've worst. Been, I've Fraser been. Knox. <laughs> Cross the games out, my boy, Elliot. That's all I'm saying. Ah, you're my boy. You're my boy. <laughs> you're my boy. He's very good. Oh, yeah. I just messed my oh, up. Oh, uh. <laughs> well, ah. The next question, which Sam has put in Who likes Fraser the most? Elliot. <laughs> 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 oh, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> They both don't like me. I'm no, just yeah. Cat. Cat. <laughs> so I passed it on. <laughs> who um who stresses the most at competition? Oh, at competition. Yeah. Who what? Stresses the most at competition. I think we're pretty level. Yeah. Is that a lot? Like, we, we, no, we're just very different. Like if you're talking about stress in every day, then it's like me. I'm a lot more stressed than Jamie. But when it comes to competition, I'm very structured, and that, yeah, that, that means that I'm not stressed, whereas Jamie is equally not as stressed, but she's not as organized. Yeah. <laughs> like, she, she, so this is what I mean, like, she's a less stressed person than I am. So leading into a competition, I just make sure I'm so organized that I can't be stressed kind of thing. Um, so, who, yeah. who gets more stressed watching the other? Oh, Jamie gets more stressed watching yeah. the other. Yeah, yeah. What's the most stressed? What's the most stressed you've been watching, Elliot, at Compton? 
Oh, regionals normally. 2017 or 18? What was the... I didn't watch in 18, oh, yeah, so 17. I'd say probably 2017. It was very stressful. Didn't yeah, go that well. It was even more stressful after. Yeah, 2017. But also an open workout is pretty stressful too. Because it's like, you also know, I also know, however he does, dictates the rest of our weekend. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> oh my oh come on please it's yeah. stressful i don't know if you get really stressed watching jamie and, and open workouts elliot <laughs> no i don't get stressed watching her do open workouts because i just know what's going to happen anyway yeah she's probably going to say <laughs> that's the thing like i don't really get stressed because i believe in her abilities so much that i know she's always going to do well like i think the only time i ever get stressed is when gets to count the reps no <laughs> when um uh, no, I'm not even asked about it. I just have to do it again. <laughs> um, no, the only time I get stressed is when, like, some when I see her get affected by, I don't know, like a, a call of of a judge, or when she doesn't, um, when for whatever reason something hasn't gone to plan. Like, for example, like the 30 muscle ups of the games. Obviously, we were in 2018. We were expecting Jamie to to win that, um, and then that was kind of like the turning point. For that whole game, really, wasn't it? And like that stress, that, <laughs> first event. That's yeah, but that's what I mean. But that stresses me out, you know, like knowing that she didn't do something I know that she's capable of. Like I'm, I'm glad that um, that uh, there was never a, a film made of the, that year's games because I remember I got interviewed so many times by the, like the Buttery Bros and CrossFit and stuff, and I would be like, "Oh, she's gonna smash this, she's gonna win this," <laughs> and then Aww. and then not top ten. I'm like, oh. I look like I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, who actually enjoys CrossFit the most in terms of like who's the biggest CrossFit buff and nerd? Well, nerd me, but who enjoys it more? Probably Jamie, to be honest. Yeah. I just like working out. <laughs> Elliot likes competing. Except growing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Like, I I do enjoy. I do enjoy training, but I, I'm not sure. Yeah, like Jamie would happily just kind of like make up a workout and, and go through it. Whereas like... You've got to have a reason. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm very much now like I train for one reason and that's to be the best I can be. So like if it's in my program or if it makes sense for me to do it, I'll be doing it. But if not, then I won't do it kind of thing. Whereas I think when I quit competing, it'll be different. Like I'll train for the love of it again. But I don't do it, like I don't train because I love it, because sometimes I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate it sometimes, but I, I like just, I just like working out with people. Yeah. Last question. We'll end on a nice one. This one's um, actually directly from Fraser. No, it's not. <laughs> um, who said, I love you first? Apart from me to both of you, because I probably said it first. It would have been me. Yeah. It would have hands down with me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, but probably Elliot. It would have hands down, but yeah, probably I can't remember. Two. I can't remember, but it probably was me like the first day I met her. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude. awesome. Well, guys, thank you for letting us join in on your Go Watch session. That was awesome. Cheers, and obviously, you can see. Oh. That Thanks for joining. Yeah. And best of luck for Bro Jamie. And uh, thank you. Wow. And Elliot, I feel like his job's more stressful than mine. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much, guys. And see you soon.